Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, I have taco soup and cheese pizza with mushrooms. Let me show y'all. It is so, so good. Look at that. Can you see it? Can you see the mushrooms or not? Mm, so good. So good. Let's uh, bless our food, and we'll get started. Father God, I thank you now for this day. Let it be uh, um, bless this food for nourish my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I got Pepsi. I really don't drink a lot of sodas like that, but I got a Pepsi today. Okay. I, I made taco soup about two days ago. Um, the next day, below made taco soup. And I was like, and she was saying that she, she was saying that she never, um, heard of it before, but man, we've been eating taco soup for years. My mom. She been making it. And I texted her and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe you never heard of taco soup. And she was like, mm, um, no, I haven't. She was like, a lot of people haven't. <laughs> but it's one of our favorite things. And she added beef broth in hers. But if you want to make it spicy, um, you can always use cayenne pepper. But to me, what makes it spicy is um, the, like the Rotel tomatoes, the hot kind. That's what makes it spicy. Mm. Who like cheese? I know there's a lot of people that like cheese pizza, but who like cheese pizza with mushrooms? It's so good. If you hear, um, well, that's my phone vibrate, right? but if you hear noise in the background, it definitely is my husband and my son downstairs. They watching some action movie. So how is everyone doing? With the quarantine and the social distancing and Self isolation. How is everybody doing? Mm. It's so good. This pizza. Okay, what I have in my taco soup is uh, corn. Rotel tomatoes, uh, black beans. I only use black beans. I don't use any other tart, but I guess that's the way, you know, my mom showed me. We only do black beans. We do rotel tomato, uh, corn, uh, taco, taco seasoning, ground beef, and sausage. Um, a sausage can make it have a little kick to it, too. A pack of Hidden Valley Ranch um, pack, the powder um, pack, and that's it. You can, but if you want to, you can add uh, onions and bell pepper, but that's all we add to ours because um, onion and peppers and all that be in your um, rotel. Yep. That's all we add. <clears throat> Mm. 
when I first made it, I met I ate with um with Doritos. You can eat it with just regular tortilla chips. You can eat it with crackers. You can eat it with pizza. <laughs> I put um, cilantro on top of it, cheese, and I got sour cream on it. So you can just mix it, mix however you want. But it's like a it's like a staple around here. Mm. My family been making it for years. <clears throat> it's cheese. Mm. I've been having the hardest time. Trying to figure out my background. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. And just go with it. Quit trying to change it up. The green strain is just not working for me. And even after like I don't pay for it, my videos are getting stuck and even the ones I try to use free, I just mm -mm. You know what? Just forget it. I'm just gonna create me a a simple background and go with it. So good. <clears throat> I'm gonna get out of strip show today. The um, scripture of the day, or the verse of the day, it's coming from Matthew 26, 41. And it says, Watch and pray that ye enter in, into not, not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that ye enter not into, into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26 and 41. Watch. Pray. That you do not be tempted. Flesh is weak. But the spirit that lives down inside us is stronger. We willing. To do what is right. <clears throat> mm. So good. This, um, Mm -hmm. What time are you? Two forty. My first meal of the day. Mm. So good. And 
A lot of people find it hard to uh, like be at home. I got my <clears throat> earphone. But I'm such a homebody. I'm fine with it. I've been on. Uh, I've been off work since like the 15th, 17, 16, 17, something like that. Because I work in the beauty industry. Um, we were the first to get cut. We were the first. Herbs are good cut. Don't know when this is gonna go you know be over. <clears throat> but definitely is a time for you to reflect. Definitely is a time for you to you for you to get some of the things done around the house. That you've been wanting to do. Keep, keep yourself motivated and inspired. By putting... Positive stuff in your spirit. A lot of people, a lot of people can't stand being at home, but it don't bother me. Like a lot, like a people, a lot of people say that uh, they're bored. I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> because it's always something to do. I'm not talking about always working. Like, if I'm just watching TV, that don't mean I'm bored. If I'm reading a book. But we so used to going, going, going. <clears throat> and now we had a place of rest. We don't know what to do with ourselves. Well, I tell you, take advantage of it because when everything opens back up, these companies are going to be full for it. They're going to be ready to recoup that money back. They're going to be open. Ride for sound. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to work harder or work more. Because got more quota to fill. Oh. But rest assured, this is not the end, and everything gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Just to show. And then what I'm eating is already hot. It's so good. Yeah. Well, I hope y'all like my background. I hope y'all like my new hair. I got a new color. But I'm not going to wear this like, like down or whatever because I don't like it. <clears throat> I just like it as a ponytail. So, that'll be the only way I'm going to wear it. Because mm, I don't like it down. Mm, I don't like the way it looks. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for visiting me. Please, please stay safe. Stay home. If you don't have to get out, don't get out. I mean, you just have to find stuff in your kitchen to make it work. And when you try to get out, make sure you try to get everything all at once like a, that you know that'll last you for a couple of weeks. So you won't be so exposed to everything. And um, if you do get out, make sure you put a mask on. Not so much gloves because the thing about gloves and everything, it doesn't matter if you have on gloves because you're touching everything like... Okay, you can go to the store and get your meat, okay, with your gloves on. Then you got to go get your uh, canned goods and get uh, um, personal items. Then you go into the cash register. And then um, you get, you're putting your gloves in your purse or your wallet and hand it to the cashier. Then you got to push your buggy with the glove. Then you got to get the, um, over your car with the glove. You still, is everything is still contaminated with, with, which the simplest thing is, when you get done with everything, just wash your hands. Just wash your hands. When you get done with everything, when I get done with everything and I go out, first thing I do is uh, wash my hands. When I come in, um, I wash my hands. Um, and then I start spraying doorknobs and car doors and sternum wheel and grocery bag. I mean that's when that's what you, you start with clean stuff. And to me, that has worked for me. So do that. <laughs> um yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for visiting me. I'm going to try to crank out more content for you all. Uh, it's just that I just kind of get bored and be like being so hard on myself um, about the way my um, background be looking and, and everything. And I just got, I just have to be like, okay, listen, this is what it is. I done tried so many different things and it just hasn't worked. So this is it for right now, for a while anyway, until I'm going to be able to get a full fledged studio. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to love God. Love people. Serve God. Serve people. Stay safe, guys. Bye.